getting ready to show you guys how I apply my design essentials custard and yeah we'll take it from there starting to dry actually so I just kind of want to get it back to a more saturated point very wet not damp like this to apply product to this is pointless wet it up so here's the thing how your hair looks wet with product is a good indication of how it will look when it dries hair is fully saturated before you apply your styling products yeah wait did i even detangle this it's at this point that i will also decide how i want my hair to fall right and so this is true for you too if you know you like a middle part, this is the time to do a middle part. If you like a side part, put the side part in there. How your hair falls in this state will affect how it falls when it's dry. Okay, so y'all know I like a little face coverage and side action. So this is where, this is how I want my hair to kind of fall. I didn't even apply product yet. This is positioning. It's just like creating a canvas. Now that I see, <laughs> now that I see where I'm starting, right? I'm going to grab my product. In the position that your hair, that you want your hair to fall, you're going to take some product, sag it in your hand, and apply it downward, elongating your curl. Make sure, look at that. Make sure the strands are fully covered. Okay. And you're kind of pulling it also out and down, if that makes sense, so that the product distributes and so that air can get through so that your hair can actually dry. You're not doing this. You're separating and distributing, right? Piece by piece. Next section, more product, just a little bit because this has a lot of spread. And spreading, spreading. Anything that looks like it doesn't have coverage, just give it some individual attention. Do a little finger curls. Next section. Now I'm in my favorite front area, which matters the most. A little bit more product. Distribute, distribute, distribute. Spread, spread, spread. Piece by piece, section by section. All right? Follow the shape of your own curl when you're adding products. So sometimes I like more defined curls in the front, so I'll spend more time in the front creating finger curl coils. You might reach a point where you're applying the product and you might have put too much on your hand or it starts to feel sticky. You don't want too much product. You literally want, literally want just the right amount of product, right? If it starts to feel like you put too much, water bottle, add more water. This is good enough. I can stop here on that side and I don't want to touch it. I also like to do a little last extra fluff, right? Okay. 
I do a rough dry. I don't usually air dry. If you want your curls to dry uninterrupted, I suggest a diffuser. Air drying might take long depending on how much product you put in your hair, what time of day is it. You don't want to be walking around or falling asleep with wet hair. Just make sure your hair dries. I'm going to I'm gonna do a little rough dry just to speed this up and so that you guys can see the end results. So, thank you. Okay, so now that my hair is mostly dry, it's all about manipulation. So at this point, I will fluff and shake a little more, right? Create the shape out of the cut that I like. Kind of want it hairish. And then I grab the product again, neaten up, not making edges, but I'm defining the curls that make my side burn. Cause then it kind of looks by accident on purpose. Are y'all seeing that? Bloop. Just do that, take the excess, spread it on the ends, come to the other side, do the same thing. And there we have it. This is how I get my curls. The part that I made is basically gone, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs>